Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you what I have on my iPhone. So I did a video like this quite a while back ago, but everything has changed. I have a new phone and the whole setup of my phone is different now. So I thought that in this video, I will show you what I have and what apps I use and so on. So if you're interested, then let's get started. I have iPhone 12 Pro Max. My phone case is this pink marble cute phone case from Otterbox. And I just got this case on the same day where I got my phone. I really like this phone and I really like this case. It's kind of hard to take off, but it does keep my phone very, very protected. So now let's see what is on my actual phone. So I can't really show my screensaver any other way, but this is what my screensaver looks like. I just found this picture on Pinterest and it's just a picture of pink macarons and tea. So it's very, very nice and girly. The background on my phone is just regular plain pink color. And then of course I used all the kinds of different widgets to organize my phone and make it look prettier. So I have on my main top screen, I have these three pictures with flowers. I love peonies. So that's why I have a lot of peony flowers on my phone phone the icons for the apps i also found on the internet you can find them on etsy and places like that a lot of people make them so you can always find the color that works for you and you can make them yourself too it's not really that hard it just takes a lot of time but yeah so i changed most of the apps that i use on daily basis into these icons and my tip is to always divide them by these squares because that way it's easier to look at and you can also divide them into different categories that's what i do so at the top left corner i have camera photo settings and weather nothing too crazy and then on the right bottom i have calendar notes gmail and whatsapp which is what i use the most and then bottom here i have phone music and safari so very basic stuff now second page i have a widget that you can create and it will show different things so here i have three i have notes photos and calendar and you can flip through them very easily have access to your most needed apps so for me that's notes and my calendar because i want to see what i have going on in the day and i just use the built-in iphone calendar that also connects to your laptop if you have a macbook so that's easy for me to use and then i also have photos that it just randomly chooses photos from your phone and it's good to see some flashbacks to some stuff <laughs> and at the bottom here i have a widget with another flower this is pink roses very cute and then i have maps which is google maps and then i have slack which is what i use for work so i can't really open up any of these apps but i hope you get the idea on my third page i have the weather widget because i want to know what the temperature is and next to that i have vk and youtube of course make sure to follow me on youtube and subscribe to my channel vk is like russian facebook so then i have this middle divider which says wherever life plants you bloom with grace i just thought it's like a girly phrase to put here and then i have nothing else here third page i have my spotify widget which is very nice because you can easily access your spotify this is my current liked songs that i have on my spotify so i don't know if that gives you anything i listen to all kinds of music i listen to rock k-pop pop indie whatever anything really then i have this widget right here for my notion i will be doing a video about my notion setup it's either on my channel now or it will be uploaded very soon so i will do a whole setup about my notion but i do have a very easy access to this so that i can use my notion anytime because it is very useful and then at the bottom i have this widget which just has pink macarons now here i have my productivity folder and in here I have Google Keep, Google Documents, YouTube Studio, Skype, Chrome, Notion. And these are apps that I don't really use, but I have Zoom, Drive, Google Sheets and stuff like that. So just kind of like productive useful stuff out of this the only ones that i use most often are youtube studio notion and google documents i believe and then here's my utilities folder which just comes with the built-in stuff that is just there um, i could probably delete them from my main screen which i probably should but for now it's going to stay like this and this is where the beautiful icons are over <laughs> and I just have the other apps that I access on a daily basis or the ones that I just never got around to deleting from my main screen. So I have Starbucks, of course. Then I have this shops folder, which honestly, I do not use any of them. And most of the time I will just scroll down like this and then just search for something that I need, like let's say Sephora. And then I will just do that. And you may notice that I 
don't have Instagram here itself because I usually just scroll down and it's right there or I will just search it like this. That's what I usually do because I don't really remember where my apps are and a lot of my apps are deleted from my main screen so it's just easier for me to do that that way but anyway next i have smart rent which is an app for my apartment complex and then i have this Hilo app which is an app for my doctor where you can message and make appointments and stuff photos and videos also a folder that i never use as you can see i have bazillions of things but the only two apps that i use are line camera and you like next i have french folder because i am trying to study french which is not going that well but i do have a folder with a lot of apps but honestly i don't really use any of them and then shopping also i have amazon ebay aliexpress iherb and stuff like that again usually i would just scroll down and tab amazon and here it is so that's what i do rover is an app that i use for finding cash cat sitters because when we leave my cat it needs to be taken care of so that's where we hire people to come and check up on her and I have Chase which is my bank McDonald's of course I go there like all the time and if you don't have McDonald's app what are you doing you can get so many free stuff and points and everything so you have to have that cookie run kingdom is the game that i'm currently playing i usually don't play that many games but this is just that kind of game that i check or like once every day for like five minutes and it's a very popular game i used to play cookie run the original a long time ago they made this cookie run kingdom where you can create your own kingdom and collect different kinds of cookies so it is really fun i like this game a lot then i have capital one which is also my another bank then i have e-trade and here i use this app to invest do financial stuff and then i have verizon app because my provider is verizon and then last page is honestly some random stuff like disney plus and some driver's education because i am trying to get a driver's license soon and i downloaded these apps and never opened them once but hopefully when i actually start going to driver school i will use them so that's basically it for my phone i hope that this video was helpful or interesting to you guys and now you can maybe get some inspiration on how you can organize your phone let me know if you have any requests for any other videos you would like to see and thank you as always for supporting my channel and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye